Hi guys, I'm Abhinav and you're watching South Western Railways. In this video, I'll be talking about the derailment of 12677 Bangalore Ernakulam Intercity Express. The derailment happened on 13 February 2015, which left 9 people dead and over 150 injured. Alright, so let's understand what actually happened and who was responsible for this derailment. In the early hours of 13 February 2015, train number 12677 departs Bangalore city at 6.10 in the morning to head towards its destination, Ernakulam. With all passengers on board, the train heads towards its destination. Meanwhile, the train makes two halts, one at Bangalore Kant and the second one at Karmilaram. The train departs Karmilaram with slight delay and heads towards its next halt, Hosur. This is where things get wrong. At 7.35 am, after the train crosses a station called Anikal Road, tragedy strikes and the train derails. Nine people are dead and more than 150 are injured. Coach number D8 and D9 are severely damaged and gas cutters are used to pull out the trapped people from these coaches. Now let's understand why this accident happened. Initially it was believed that the train derailed because it hit a boulder on the track. However, after the inspection was done, the reason for the accident came out to be something else. On 17th March 2015, a report from Commissioner of Railway Safety stated that the derailment happened because of a rail fracture or a broken rail. Later, in 2016, in the final report by CRS, the section engineer was blamed for this accident. The section engineer was blamed for allowing the train to run at maximum speed even though one day before the derailment, a part of track was repaired at the same place where the derailment happened. Indian Railways suffered a loss of 1.3 crore rupees because of this derailment, apart from 9 lives and 150 injuries. So this was the story behind Erna Kolam Express derailment. If you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button and if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thank you so much.